Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Dead Cells whilst he turns on his control, which he forgot to do. Thank you for joining me, I apologise once again for the really long episodes recently. I'm trying to keep them to uh, uh, a length that you would uh, probably prefer me to keep them to, but... I mean, do let me know if you're okay with them being as long as they currently are, because... I, um, the reason I don't want them to be more than an hour long is simply my own like preferences for videos. If they're more than an hour long, I can't watch them during a lunchtime. <laughs> mostly because, ooh, yeah. <clears throat> mostly because when I have a lunchtime, even if I do take an hour for it, people don't leave me the heck alone for it anyway. So I, I don't get an hour for an hour's lunch, and if it's more than an hour long, of course, which they have been, uh, that makes it you know a little bit harder. I don't know why I'm going with um, shield and bow here. Thought I might try something new. It's not really very good. But maybe if we just keep talking rather than thinking about it, it won't be a problem. Uh, at least I am, to some extent, using the shield. Ow. Not sure what to do there. I mean, I know what to do there. Obviously, you just don't be there. And it's fine. But I was there. Um. So... In the last episode, we did manage to get quite far with Shield Meta, although Shield Meta did involve us... I think we got a long way without the Shield, basically, and then <clears throat> switched at the last minute when all oh, this looks good, which it did. It did as well, um, up to the point where I suck. But I was really, really trying to use the Shield as much as possible, which may not be the correct thing to do. In fact, it's almost certainly not the correct thing to do. Um, so... You know, we go this way. we basically want to do that again, but learn the right sort of combination. Do I really want to buy something? Okay. Everyone likes a double crossbow-matic. We need to learn the, the discipline of shields, which is to say when not to use them as much as when to actually use them. Wait, I mean, most things are a case of know when to use them and know when not to use them and we were overusing it on the boss fight. Although I do appreciate quite how many things um, were you know um, affecting the boss. How many things the boss did that we could block. Unfortunately I was just completely overdoing it. We probably shouldn't roll too much uh, of the survival spec but honestly I think it might be good again if we manage to find a survival weapon, or simply beat the boss enough to get a uh, uh, a colourless weapon, which is actually a really good boon for most of these bosses. Nice. I prefer the fact that... Oh, that was bad. I was going to say, I think I prefer the fact that these things um, actually kill themselves if you manage to parry correctly. Let's go to the promenade, I suppose? I, I don't see why not. Kind of appreciating going through the easier path. <clears throat> Um, when we have a difficult run ahead of us, which I'm doing to myself, obviously. Um, but let's let's go with an actual. This is a survival sword, so I think that's actually perfect. Let's do that, and then I don't want to get anything else. Then, so I will just put the rest of my cells in the things that I'm working towards slowly, which we're nearly there for restock, which is G Rand. This doesn't have the best <clears throat> modifier on it, so we can uh, re-roll that. No. <laughs> That'll do, maybe, I guess. And we will go for one of these. I did really, really like the uh, Necromancy, which I realised starts at 3 and went up to 5 during the last episode, so it must go slowly up, <clears throat> but I don't know if it goes up as fast as the enemy's damage scales. I don't know if they scale together, basically, which is a bit of a problem. A printer keeps starting up on its own. Presumably it's just, you know, reminding me it's alive. Which is all very well and good, but it scares the heck out of me. All the heck, not just a bit of the heck. Um, out of me. When it does so, because... It sounds like there's a creature in my... Ooh, that was really good. Did you see that? Sounds like there's some sort of creature that I don't want to be in my house in my house. Very pleased that this broadsword is a survival one because it means yeah, I've already gone up to four just from taking that one. Roll. Can't see where I am. It's going to be the first episode from the first run from the last episode all over again. 
I did cheat and learn how to... That wasn't good. Uh, discover the final gardener's key. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> we are at least, I'm sure, capable of... See that? I didn't... Uh... There we go. Um, at least I'm sure capable of getting through this level without actually dying. Really need to practice the timings on various enemies, which is why I'm going to the effort of actually um, attacking them rather than uh, you know, running past them. Because the more shields we know how to parry with, which is basically any shield with which you can actually parry, the better off we're going to be. For once, the uh, blooming dummy was in a place... <laughs> What were you saying? But once the dummy was in a place where it wasn't affecting anybody, and it had gone ahead and completely undone any good that it could possibly have. That was not great. Luckily, I can just do that straight through the wall. <laughs> you do have to wait a long time for a lot of these things to actually attack, which is interesting. The broadsword is really good, actually. I haven't used it before, obviously, because I haven't had it yet. Just unlocked it. We've had it for a while on the... <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I should have got a drink before I started this, which is new barrow number one, but yeah, we obviously only just unlocked it, even though it's been an available blueprint for quite a while. So um, now we know. <laughs> you know how good it is. It's a little bit better than the hammer, I think, which is has a similar sort of effect in many ways, but stuff over here? No. It, it, it has a similar not effect, but sort of cadence to it. It has a similar heft to the hammer, but it seems to be a lot better, basically. <clears throat> so yeah, I, did ch I cheated, like I said, on the gardener's key. I know what to look for, um, and I'm going to find it by gum. We'll take the first one. We found them all, uh, except for this one, so I guess b both of the other two, without having to really try too hard, which is... Good. It means I'm probably not going to miss the uh, slightly easier ones to find without... No. Oh, you're not dead. Might as well just see that. Our ground stomp is pretty good, actually. Here's the other one. Hooray! So I'm just looking for the background, basically. We need to pay more attention than I am to the background. That grenade is pretty good, but I'm expecting it to be less and less good, of course, as we... Um, yeah, that's not how you do that. That's incorrect. I'm expecting it to get less and less good the more we... Uh... Ooh, roll. Because uh, I think it's going to remain... Oh, didn't expect that to happen. Come on, then. There we go. Do I want to replace this? I'm not really using any of them. I think the only reason I want to replace this, by and large, is that um, it, its cooldown is the same as the other one, and it is going to, if we choose to take the mutation that helps with that, it's going to help with that. So we're just looking in the background to see the key sticking out of uh, some background scenery, basically. Whereupon we will have discovered it once and for all, and I don't think there's any reason to get it twice. Like, we only need to discover it once and get the reward for having done so. In the future, that reward will s not be as good. Probably be money, like everything else. When you find a blueprint in the environment, it turns into money. Oh, why? This time, when there was a gated area, it was the prison depths. So, I'm not actually paying enough attention this time, so we might have to go through and have another look for the gardener's key. Um, oh, heck. Uh, on the way through next time, but I'm going to keep going in survival because we don't really need much else right now, to be honest. I'm okay with the amount of damage that we're doing. At least because... Oh, pardon me. At least because we... Um, first of all, we're parrying really well. And besides that... Um, all our weapons are scaling with the same thing, so that's also good. This is a decent weapon. I have previously indicated that I'm not sort of au fait with weapons that hit hard but slow. Although I am quite open to being uh, taught. This one certainly is learning me a lesson. Because... Ooh. 
this scales with damage and I'm not using the other ones. I think I would prefer the trap over the... Wow, which way are you facing? I would prefer the trap over the thing that wasn't a trap. Over the other thing that isn't other a trap. Good England, speak. Do. Ooh. Now we get to choose the other types. Might as well go for 50 HP. Uh, I know we could probably have gone for DPS on our thing that we're not using, as opposed to the other thing that we're not using. Stop with the making the baddies stay alive longer. Not really use my shield quite a lot, actually. Um, that parry just now. <laughs> that was great. That parry just now made me realise how little I am using. You can tell when it's a difficult run because I'm <laughs> talking about it. It's not a difficult run, actually. I think I'm doing quite well, if I say so myself. I'm okay with those, though. Thank you very much. Um, but I do have to concentrate. Probably a little bit more on the scenery, on the background, so I can find this final gardener's key. I don't want either. Which one do you think sells for more? <laughs> Go away. As indicated, I don't want that one because it just takes too long to recharge. Even though it's probably pretty good. I'm okay with that. Can I shut your... That wasn't clever. I keep... Um, because I am so used... I'm not like I've played this game a huge amount. Several hours at most, but... I nevertheless seem to have muscle memory for having sword and a bow. So if I ever seem to press the Y button at a, a weird time, it's because I think there's a bow on it. When there isn't. That I kind of expected to actually roll past. Uh, still looking for the scenery to give me a clue. We must have gone past it because it's not here. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Hard to be sure. Is that racist? Doing accents? Is that xenophobic? There's many phobias and racisms. There's isms and phobias, and I don't like the use of the phobia sort of suffix to denote prejudice. You know, I, I think the reason is if somebody has a phobia of something, even if that thing is something that you should be more, you know, understanding of, a phobia is not something you necessarily have control over. It. I mean, you can understand... I can, let me give you a scenario. Let's say you were xenophobic. That simply means that you are afraid of strangers. Yeah? Um, not, not strangers, but literally aliens, I guess, but like people from other cultures or people from outside. I don't know where this thing is going to be that I'm looking for, by the way. That's why I'm hunting around so thoroughly. Um, you could still understand that your phobia is like detrimental to certain people. It's... It is a phobia, and you know that, but also it is offensive to some people, so people are uncomfortable, made uncomfortable by your discomfort because it applies to them. And you could be, you could have no, you know, justifiable and logical reason to hold this fear, and yet you do. Hey. Is it there? Ah, I found it. I, I, I would not have seen that, so I'm glad that I, uh, have been stomping around completely at random. That's just me. I stomp around because it's fun. I really think we need isms for actual prejudice. And phobias can be sort of kept for people who, you know, deserve the... Ooh, heck. Um, the sort of... We need to be more... I want to say understanding. You can be understanding of somebody who has a phobia because they don't know. I, I have arachnophobia. I'm terrified of spiders, especially at least when they're in my house. I'm going to the prison deaths because why not? Um, you know, I can't deal with them. So it's not their fault. And if spiders were people, um, I, you know, we would have <laughs> a whole conversation about it. There'd be sort of UN meetings about the 
reasons why people don't like spiders and we should all get along together. And it's like, I can't help it, right? What are we currently on? Inflammable oil. Let's upgrade it. Burn is fine. Upgrade it. Bleeding, whatever. Upgrade. Yes. This is all fine stuff. Uh, meanwhile, spiders are not, you know, sentient. We don't have a rapport with them. We don't have councils involving them. But if we did, people would still be afraid of them and there'd be nothing they could do about it. But an arachnophobe in that hypothetical scenario would be encouraged to... Oh, we can't block that, huh? I think we can block it at... The... Whoa, what? You can do that? We can... Uh... They would be encouraged to find uh, a way around it, basically. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to do. Yes, you can do that. Right. Okay, good. Um, you know, they'll be encouraged to seek therapeutic assistance because you would want to... You'd want to be a functional member of society in a sort of a dual society scenario. Yeah? So, a uh, true xenophobe would be un... Unsure of why they are afraid of, you know, you know, people who are of another race or culture, but they would be con considering they would constantly be considered to be help for them. Basically, there would be a way of helping them through that, so that they could be a functional member of society. Whereas a Zenist, a Xenoist, a Zeno something ism, that would be. A, I don't want to say like a necessarily a actual decision that that person's making because a lot of the people who are ists, like, how do I deal with this? <laughs> Let me out. Um, are such because they are brought up that way, you know? It's an us is better than them attitude. I have grew up making Irish jokes all the time. Irish people are stupid. That is the, the joke about Irish people in our culture in my upbringing. You know? There are so many jokes at the expense of the Irish. I'm not sure I'm happy with this. <laughs> you know, just because it's cultural. I'm not afraid of them. And if I were afraid of them, that would be an irrational fear. It's like homophobic. You're not homophobic, you're homo... You know, homo... flipping... You're a douche. <laughs> right? Come on then. I'll put these down for you. Fine, whatever. You know, there's better. Oh, Hold on. <laughs> it's got more DPS, which is interesting, and a level in survival, which would increase it on its own, which is weird. And then it's got 100% damage taken, so I can't do it because I'm just going to die. <laughs> no, let's try it. If I find myself in dire straits. I got immediately stun locked because the first shot did most of my HP in one go. Immediately stun locked. See, I said that I'll do shorter. You know what? I'm going to try this thing. We're going to do shorter episodes, but when they're only 20 minutes long, maybe I'll upload two in a day. How about that? Because then you can stop and watch the next one later. So, thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll join me in the next one, which I'm assuming I will be uploading the same day as this one. And until that episode. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you.